So I am a pretty huge fan of the PSP. I simply have two actually in this room right here. So I was absolutely excited to hear the news that PPSSPP, which is the best PSP emulator, is now on iOS. Now what that means is, is that you can run this on your iPhone or you can run this on an iPad. And it's super simple to get started. Okay, so the very first thing you're going to need to do is to download the app. Now, this pretty much is not showing in any of the search results that I have been trying. So take a look at the description below and I'll give you a direct link. So once you click on that link, all you want to do is to obviously download it. In the example today, I'm just gonna show you all this on my iPhone. Once it's complete, just press the open button and you will be presented with PPSSPP. So from here, the really the only option that you need to go to is over here where it just says load. So let's go ahead and click on load first, is you're gonna to need to go to browse and then select a ISO or a CSO that is on your phone's storage. Okay, I simply navigated over to iCloud.com, iCloud Drive. Now everybody gets five gigabytes of free storage and you pretty much have to have one if you've got an iPhone. So you already have this right now. So from here, all you need to do is you just need to upload a file. So you can press right there and you will see you've got file upload here. Now the file types that you can download or you can put on here is gonna be ISO files or CSO files. So go ahead and select your images that you want to upload. Now, obviously I can't tell you where to go and get those, but if you search on Google, you probably will find something. Now we need to navigate to the files app and in just a second, it will show the ISO image that I'm currently uploading. Okay, great. There it is, it just came through. Now we're just going to simply long press on that and we're going to select copy. And now it is downloading it and it's gonna copy it to the clipboard. We'll go back to our iCloud drive and then browse. And now we're gonna to go to where it says on my phone. And there you'll see PPSSPP. Go ahead and select that. Then you'll see PSP, select that. And then finally game, select that. Now long press again in anywhere in that open space. And we're gonna select paste there. And now we have an ISO image. Let's switch back to the emulator. Now let's go to load. I'm gonna go ahead and click browse here. And then on my phone, I'm gonna go into the PPSSPP folder and then PSP and then game. And then there is that file. And so now at this point, you can do pretty much everything you would normally expect. Right there, I was able to save to the emulated Memory Stick Pro Duo card. As you can see on screen, we have all of the different keys. Now, one thing to note is, is that if you do want to use this with a wireless controller, I know Xbox works with this, PlayStation 4 controllers would work with this as well. Basically, any device that you can pair to your phone will work. So anyway, uh, it is a ton of fun at least playing with it right now in these initial stages. Now this video is sped up where at least you could see kind of what the game looks like. Now you can use different video modes. So this one right here is using the default, but you can also switch that to something like OpenGL if you want to. There's a ton of options, especially if you have some of the newer phones or some of the newer iPads. Well, anyway, I think that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out.